Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking. Welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new to this channel or you're a new subscriber, Weasel, you're welcome. My name is Henrietta. If this is your first time watching my channel, if this is your first time seeing me, please do subscribe, okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you so much for subscribing. So here in this video, we're going to be discussing, we're going to be talking about money saves hacks, okay? Um, our topic, we are, I'm going to bring in a, a topic, then we'll be answering four other subtopics under it, okay? So the topic is, when going to the supermarket or the market or the shop, do you know how much you will spend in total? So the first sub question is, do you know the exact prices of the things? So when you are going to the market or something, do you just stand up and go buy the things or you find out the prices of the items? See, it is very safe if you know the the range of amounts the things could be in because if you know the amounts of the things if you know the prices of the things then you will save money and also you will not get cheated so the second one is does your approximation of prices bring a shortage or a surplus so if you if you notice that anytime you're going to the market or you make a list and you're going to the market to buy things and um, you mostly get short and you have to call for money or something, then which means that you do not really know the prices of the things. So I advise that you go ask um, people who normally go buy. Sometimes you can ask your parents because they know a lot. They've been buying things for so many years and so they have a good idea on it and most of us our parents they even know even when they have reduced the thing <laughs> normally we the young ones we don't really know but our parents they do pay attention to those little things okay so ask them and then they will let you know of everything but if you are somebody who always make an approximation and you get a surplus then that's safe that's really good Keep it on and don't mess up, okay? You don't want to be stranded. You don't want to be stranded. So the third one is, do you need to approximate or not? Okay, here, I would say you need to, okay? Because if you approximate, if, if you have the prices, if you know, if you have a knowledge on the prices of that good or that particular items, you'll not get cheated. And also, you get enough money to buy other things that caught your eyes and it's not in your list, okay? So, it is safe to know the prices. And also, it is safe to budget. Don't just go with an amount of money that you're going to show or you're going to buy something. No. So, the last question is, do you budget for the exact amount of money for transport? So, here... um. I, in this question, I will say that it's not good to do so. Okay, if you budget, if you do an approximation, do not carry that particular amount to wherever you're going to. Okay, so that's my answer for this. I have two advices to give on for the overall of the questions I asked. Okay, the first one is you should have your as you should have your approximation price plus one quarter of your price at least and half your price at most especially when you are not driving okay when you are not driving or riding your bike or something to wherever you're going to it is best you take more than what you approximated okay it will help you you might not know what will happen and you need that that will help you keep safe okay the second advice is that if you should have your approximation price plus half at least and double at most when driving because when driving you could keep the money somewhere in the car and have some with you okay 
or sometimes on your phone that's where you're using the mobile money or something or you're having a card or anything then that's fine but don't carry less amounts because if it was if your car breaks down or your motorbikes refuse to move like yes you have to do this to keep safe i hope i've said so much i've highlighted so much on this topic and so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video but wait have you subscribed please subscribe thank you so much and have a great day bye